behalf of NeighborWorks, uh, my name is Rob Corley. I'm the CEO of NeighborWorks Housing Solutions. Uh, and behalf of NeighborWorks and Work Inc., I'd like to thank all of you for coming out this morning uh, to celebrate this ribbon cutting uh, for this wonderful new state-of-the-art property that you see here uh, that will serve as a new home for five individuals that will live here. Um, this home will provide the stability and the care that each of them need to live their lives independently. At NeighborWorks, this gets to the core of our mission. Uh, our mission is to uh, provide stable homes for families and individuals um, so that they can become part of a community and a neighborhood um, and they can live, grow, prosper as part of that community, as our neighbors. Um, this is something that we've been doing for a very, very long time here in partnership with so many. And this is really a celebration also of partnership here with all of you here today. Socially distanced, um, but it's just great to be part of this. Um, our partners, Work Inc., uh, we've partnered with them many times before. This is the second property that we've done with them here in Quincy. Um, the work that they do is remarkable, and you're going to hear from each of them here today, uh, all of our partners here today, I should say, um, uh, as we uh, celebrate this opening. Um, but one of our longest standing partners uh, and supporters has been the great people of the city of Quincy, uh, in particular, the mayor of Quincy, who's been such a strong supporter of our organization and our work and his commitment uh, to affordable housing and special needs housing is unmatched. Um, also, during this very challenging time for all of us uh, during the pandemic here, um, the mayor kept the city of Quincy open for this construction uh, so that we were able to continue to do this work uh, during the summer months and during the difficult spring months um, and complete this project, not exactly on time because no construction project is ever done on time, um, but we were able to keep this going and move these folks into their new home um, at, at a record pace considering all that we went through this summer. So I really want to uh, thank the mayor uh, for his leadership there so that we could do this work safely and complete this project. Uh, I'd like to ask... The, yeah. So I'd like to ask the mayor of the City of Presidents, Mayor Tom Koch, to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Robin. Good morning, everybody. What a, what a beautiful autumn fall morning. Uh, it's great to be out. It's great to be out, right, for starters, but to be part of such an incredible project uh, is just amazing. Uh, and I know you're going to be hearing from some of them, but I did want to acknowledge some of my colleagues in government who are here with me. Uh, the President of the City Council, City Council of Argentina Liang, City Council at Large Ann Mahoney, City Council at Large Noel Devon, Budwin Council of David McCarthy, and one of our partners at the state level, uh, State Senator John Keenan. And this project, uh, you know, Rob does an incredible job. Uh, Rob and the, the folks at NeighborWorks uh, looking straight across at Donner. Uh, what a team over the years. Just had a great partnership with them. They know how to get it done. Uh, Jim Cassetta, Work Inc., uh, just an incredible agency that uh, really makes a big, big difference in people's lives. Uh, and, you know, as mayor of the city, one of the great things I'm always bragging about is how we come together as a community. Uh, the community assets that we have, it's all about the people. We're all part of the same human family. And this is a great project we all should be proud of. I'm grateful to Jim Fatsies and Sean Glennon from our playing department and the entire staff. Uh, we use some federal money through this, the home monies, as well as affordable housing trust monies to help put this together. So just glad to be a part of it. It's a great day. Love this great city of Quincy. Timmy Cahill, president of the uh, chamber. Good to see you out there as well. Uh, and I'm so happy, and we welcome our new neighbors here in Germantown for many years of health and happiness in this beautiful, beautiful home. So thanks to all involved. God bless. A few other people I wanted, as Mayor mentioned, uh, Sean Glennon from uh, uh, the Community Development Office. I'd also like to thank Jim Fatsies, uh, the Quincy Planning Director. Jim, thank you for your leadership on this project. Um, also the members of the Affordable Housing Trust here in Quincy, uh, very supportive of this project with funding uh, uh, and uh, so, uh, several meetings that we had uh, for help with additional funding, so special thanks to them. Also the South Shore Home Consortium, as the Mayor mentioned, there are home funds in this project. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention the Quincy Building Department, which was incredibly helpful, again, in allowing us to get this property open on time for these families, which was really, really important. Um, also the Quincy Planning Board, 
Um, as you can see, this property is located in somewhat of a, a different type of location. So this required some special zoning and assistance from the planning, uh, planning board, which was uh, very, very helpful. And uh, lastly, the Quincy Housing Authority. Uh, I'd also like to thank them uh, for their support um, in providing a private way here. We made this a subdivision in order to uh, make this property happen. Originally, there was actually a driveway that was going to be down the middle of the side of the lot here. And because of their partnership with us, we were able to use the private way uh, for that access, which was, which was key. Um, so a project like this, as I mentioned, requires a lot of different funding sources uh, to make a home like this possible. Um, and not only locally here in the city of Quincy and the federal funds mentioned from the home uh, consortium, but also at the state level. Um, and at the state level, uh, we've had a, just a great partner um, who, who sits uh, on the Joint Housing Committee, uh, Senator John Keenan, for many, many years has been such a strong supporter, again, of our work here at NeighborWorks and affordable housing overall. But I, I want to take this opportunity to also thank the Senator for his assistance during this pandemic with rental assistance funds and funds for people who are facing eviction, who are unemployed, and homeowners that are having a difficult time paying their mortgages. Uh, this critical funding from the state in a recently passed supplemental uh, uh, budget that included an additional $20 million to help families that are facing eviction and foreclosure with grant funds at this time uh, has just been really, really important. So I really want to thank the Senator for that support. We're administering those funds in the region, and uh, Metro Boston is a, 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 a sorry, and uh, Metro Housing Boston is in administering those funds here in Quincy. Uh, so I just want to put that out there so people are aware that those funds are available. Please join me in welcoming the Senator, uh, Senator Jarkin. Thank you, Rob. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here and to bring you the greetings of my legislative colleagues. Majority Leader Ron Mariano, Representative Taki Chan, Representative Bruce Ayers, and Representative Dan Hunt. Rob mentioned about the work that's being done at the state level to try to keep people in their homes. How nice it is to be here today seeing people in their homes. You know, this project started as their projects often do, scrambling to put together the funding. Then it's the planning and the design, and then it's the footings, the, the, the infrastructure, the PVC, the electrical work, all of that. The roof goes on, the windows go in. And today, it goes from all of that, from just being a structure, today, although the, uh, the folks have lived here for a little while, but today, it becomes a home. And how nice is that? Maya Angelo said that the ache for home lives in all of us. And we know today that there are so many that realize that ache. And again, how nice to be here today, knowing for these folks that the worry of a home no longer exists, that indeed they are home. So I want to thank NeighborWorks, Work Inc., the city, all of those that came together to make this project possible, that gave folks a home. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Um, I'd also like to uh, mention that on the local level here, uh, this neighborhood has embraced this project. This took a, more than a couple of years to get going. Um, and I remember when I was uh, meeting with Ward 1 Councilor uh, McCarthy uh, discussing this project, um, he was supportive from day one, very supportive and welcoming from day one. Um, not only is he committed to City of Quincy in this ward, uh, but he's also deeply committed to helping those with special needs. Uh, he serves on the Board of uh, South Shore Mental Health and is also on the Board of Trustees of the Carroll Center for the Blind. Uh, Council Mc McCarthy is uh, a strong partner of ours, and I'd like to welcome him up to the podium to say a few words on behalf of Ward 1. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Rob indicated, this was a uh, thumbs up from all involved from the, from the get-go. Uh, when we first saw uh, the plan uh, at, at Jim Fassie's stage at the planning department, uh, it's sale through planning, zoning. You knew it was going to be uh, a great project. And McLeod Contracting, that put it together, did a super job. Uh, Neighbor Works and Working are always in the mix uh, across the city. And uh, it's very proud for me as the Ward 1 Councilor to have a uh, affordable housing uh, project here that really is beautiful. It, 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 it's, it's not your standard. Uh, a four-story uh, building, it looks like a home. It, um, it really is beautiful. 
And to have that here, have five units for uh, folks that have challenges and uh, have um, a staff in here also that will be deaf, uh, that will work with the, uh, with the folks that are hearing appeared. Um, it's, just, it's just tremendous to have here in Quincy. Uh, again, uh, a big thank you to the administration, uh, to Naval Works and to Work Inc. And, and I couldn't be more pleased. And, and as uh, Senator Keenan said, uh, welcome and, uh, and enjoy your home. Thank you. Thanks, Counselor. Um, also, as I mentioned, on partnerships locally, uh, we're very blessed once again to have the great private financing from Colonial Federal Savings Bank. Angela Blanchard's here. Uh, thank you, Angela, for your support of this project. We had another great project. Um, and then also, I, I, I'd like to mention, uh, as the council did, McLeod con Contracting, also Elton Hampton Architects, who designed this beautiful home, um, in particular Bill Barrett. And at the Naval Works level, I'd like to thank Tim Doherty, our real estate development director, who put this entire project together, which was very, very challenging, believe it or not, for this. Uh, you know, we do large properties, uh, or something is like similar to this building you see here, and also uh, smaller developments, and they are just as difficult, no matter the size, the zoning, the issues, the financing, uh, it's all actually relatively the same, as he always reminds me. Um, also, I'd like to thank, uh, during the pandemic, like I said, not only was McLeod here working safely, uh, but from our office, uh, our, our construction manager, Dave Lovering, also was a, a huge person coming out here daily uh, and monitoring the construction during the pandemic. So big thanks uh, to Dave. Um, so uh, I'd like to now introduce our, our partner here, uh, Work Inc., uh, uh, old friend and partner. Uh, he's not old, that's not what I mean. Um, but Jim Cassetta is the uh, president and CEO of Work Inc. Um, and it's a nationally recognized, I'm going to read some of this now, Jim, because I think it's important. I, I would more casually introduce you normally, but I want the cameras to hear this. But I it's would a, have said it anyway. Because all right, it's a, a nationally recognized pioneer in developing employment and community based programs for individuals with disabilities. Work Inc. is New England's leading agency, providing the skills and supportive services needed to help people with disabilities achieve their goals. Please join me in welcoming Jim Cassetta. Thank you, Rob. Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful day. I was sharing with some people. I haven't worn a suit and tie for the past six or seven months, but the COVID-19 has impacted my, my dress also. So um, thank you all for being here. It's a beautiful day. And you know, I've been around a while. I'm not that young, but I'm not that old. But there was an acronym when I got into the business of NIMBY. Not in my backyard, but the city of Quincy, I call it always in my backyard. Working started in Quincy. Quincy is the home of working, and we're glad to be home again. We have five group homes in Quincy. We have many of our staff who live in Quincy, and we did move three and a half miles away, but we gave Quincy a beautiful hotel to get, get it back on the tax roll. So that's all. So, we, you're welcome, Mr. Mayor. Um, so, believe it or not, Work Inc. had the first group home in the Commonwealth back in 1973 when deinstitutionalization was occurring. We opened the first group home in Massachusetts at 74 Greenleaf Street, which I think now is housing several departments of the city of Quincy. So it all goes around and comes around. We're so glad to be home. I want to thank Andrea on our staff and Serenity for helping put this together. I think the chairman of my board is here, Mr. Jim Flanagan, but I can't do my job without the support of who I work for, the board of directors. And of course, we have a slogan at Work Inc. It's very simple. We make people's lives better. And that's Easier said than done. But Quincy has always been our best friend in terms of making people's lives better. I want to thank you all. Good luck to our new neighbors. They're going to love it here. It's, it's challenging to put financing together to build a home. Once those doors open, Work Inc. is the service provider. And we can't provide the services without the support of the Commonwealth. Through the Department of Developmental Services, they give us a service contract, which 
which pays for the services we render. And in looking back at history, those contracts usually are less expensive than housing individuals in, in, in institutions. So with that said, I'd like to introduce the person who helped us acquire the service contract, the Deputy Commissioner of the Department of Developmental Services, Victor Hernandez, wants to say a few words. Terrific to be here. Uh, you know, when this idea first uh, came to me in, well, over three years ago, um, I thought about it and I said, wow, you know, with uh, many federal, state, local agencies and regulations, this should be smooth. Uh, but it took the collaboration and commitment of everybody you see around you today. I mean, uh, Rob and his folks at NeighborWorks, of course, Jimmy and his uh, crew at Work Inc., Roger Herzog and the crew at CDAC. But most importantly, it's the uh, local area office. In the back over there, we have Colleen Mulligan, the area director, who uh, persistently called me, and made sure that this stayed on track. So uh, at some point in time, please thank her because she made sure that this moved ahead. Uh, but it truly is a sign of the collaboration between many, many different agencies, again, federal, state, local, and it truly is a remarkable task that was done in three years and look at it now. So on behalf of the uh, individuals living here, but also to everybody at DDS, I want to thank everybody. Please enjoy. Thank you. So again, on, on state financing for this project, uh, as we've sort of been talking about the layers of the cake here, as we like to call it, um, uh, one group in particular, CDAC, that's the Community, Develop Community Economic Development Assistance Corporation, has been a huge part of NeighborWorks' success over the last 20 years. Not only do they provide uh, funding for projects like this, or administer funding for projects like this, and, but they also provide pre-development funding um, which is very key in when you're developing something like this because to get site control and put together all of these sources of funding, both local, state, federal, and private, the fundraising from the private sector as well, to put something like this together takes time. And in order to get that time, you need pre-development financing to buy and hold something as you put this all together. And CDAC uniquely provides that uh, support to groups like ours, a CDC, a community development corporation like ours. And CDEC not only provides money, but they provide technical assistance, support, help, advice, and they, they steer us in the right direction at the state level for the sources of funding that we need. So I'm very honored yet again to uh, invite my dear friend, the Executive Director of CDAC, Roger Herzog, to come up and say a few words. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Rob, for that very kind intro. It is a true delight to be here. It seems like years since I've attended an event celebrating new housing. We need the new housing so badly across the Commonwealth as has been underscored by this health crisis. Um, there is no place like home and to be able to welcome new residents to this wonderful uh, example of supportive housing, affordable housing with services is such an honor. There's several things I want to say. First of all, congratulations to our great partners at NeighborWorks Housing Solutions and their partner, Work Inc., on accomplishing this under really extreme conditions. Um, and it's great to hear that they had such support from the city and from so many partners to move this forward despite the challenges. And it really is a reminder that the systems are still working. We have many, many projects all around the state that are proceeding despite the pandemic. And my friends and colleagues at the state's Department of Housing and Community Development are um, working very hard to deploy the funding that the legislature has provided to them to build projects like this. And um, we're delighted about that. Um, CDAC, one of CDAC's roles is to really help move forward these types of supportive housing projects. And as my dear colleague Victor Hernandez said, um, there's many different kinds of funds that are involved in this. There's the capital dollars to build the bricks and mortar. There's the operating dollars to be able to run the housing day to day. 
And then there's the service dollars to be able to pay for the staffing that you need for these kinds of residential programs. Um, and uh, several years ago, the legislature charged the administration which, with finding better ways to bring all these different sources of money together. And CDAC has become the convener of an interagency uh, committee that meets on a regular basis with agencies on the housing side and the human health and human services side and administration and finance to make sure that we are efficiently getting projects like this built and um, housing provided for folks who need it. So I want to thank this Senator Keegan for his support of these programs. And I know Senator Keegan supported our unbelievable $1.8 billion housing bond bill that was signed into law by Governor Baker in 2018. Some of those dollars are being deployed right here to Germantown House under one of the programs funded in the bond bill, the Facilities Consolidation Fund. This project also has federal housing trust fund dollars from HUD, and these are administered by the Department of Housing and Community Development. Um, uh, I don't think anyone from DHCD was able to make it here today, but I want to definitely give a big shout out to Undersecretary Jennifer Maddox and Kate Racer, who runs their housing development division and her great team for their work on this. So all in all, um, another great example of work done by our partners at NeighborWorks. We look forward to many more, Rob, and we look forward to doing many more projects here in the great city of Quincy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roger. Um, also, uh, just a shout out at CDAC to uh, Will Morgan for uh, his support of this project. He was extremely helpful. As mentioned, with all these sources, it's very uh, challenging to put them together, and he was very, very helpful. Uh, very specific criteria for that funding, and thanks to Will for that. And also at DHCD, um, not only to Kate Racer, but to Bronya Clifton, who was also very uh, helpful with this project. And, also used to be part of CDAC uh, in her prior life, uh, was very helpful. Um, but as we talk about bricks and mortar and housing and financing and money and all those things, um, the most important thing here and the most important thing to NeighborWorks, our board of director and, uh, directors and to Work Inc. Is, is the people that are going to live here. It's the individuals and the families. These are the lives that we're improving and changing. This is what it's all about for us. This is what we do. This is why we do this work. It's why all of us are here now. Um, and so to get a better understanding of who lives here uh, and what is going to be done here and what it's going to be like to live here, um, I'm going to invite uh, Rohan from Work Inc. to come up and say a couple of words. Now, when I first met Rohan, uh, we've been working together, we're working I think maybe 10 or 12 years at another property that we built. It was the first project I ever, well, actually the second project I was ever part of here in Quincy. Uh, it's a home called Susie's Home. Uh, which we uh, developed uh, for the late, great uh, Bob Foy and Mildred Foy, uh, a home for their daughter uh, who, who had disabilities. Uh, it was a beautiful single-family home, new construction. It was really my introduction uh, to Quincy neighborhood housing at the time uh, and this great city of Quincy and what the power of partnerships can actually do. And now to be here 20 some odd years later, opening up another home like this is just such a great honor. Um, so, Rohan is the VP of the Residential Division for Work, Inc. Um, and I've known Rohan for a long time, but I've never actually publicly had to pronounce his name. And so it's Rohan Wick Chroma Rotney. And I got it perfect, I think. Uh, Rohan, why don't you come up and say a few words. Thank you. <laughs> Who was it? Yeah, I told you. It was good. So, my daughter should have heard that because she can't wait to get married so she can change the name. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, this wonderful gift for the individuals that are going to be living there. So I want to first, I know that's happened a couple of times, I want to offer my sincere appreciation to the NeighborWorks Housing, without whom that we won't be talking about this, and to the Department of Developmental Services, Victor Hernandez, Colleen Mulligan, and uh, also the working, you know, Jim Cassada, who uh, facilitated this, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> everyone else that yeah. participated and uh, provided assistance to uh, get this program uh, 
initiated. So this is a true collaborative effect of everyone uh, from all the state and uh, local agencies and the federal agencies with the uh, um, Department of Developmental Services and Department of Mental Health and folks who are being funded from those two agencies. So when you hear about working, basically what you hear about uh, employment services and the working does have a residential division and uh, we provide total about 202 individuals statewide, people who are uh, 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 with different abilities. So we provide services to them. And uh, in Quincy, uh, this is the sixth house that we add into our housing cluster. So uh, we have six group homes uh, and two, in addition to that, two uh, three bedroom uh, uh, apartment programs. And uh, so, the, in the Quincy area, we, we provide close to about 25 individuals who are different hard of hearing services through uh, DDS. And uh, imagine that those six houses are provided for 24-7 staffing support. And uh, we offer close to about 80 staff who are different hard of hearing and sustainable, long-lasting employment as well. And this facility is going to provide support to five wonderful individuals, age range from 40 to about 79. They will never have to move out of the, out of a house ever again. And uh, so we too have all the bells and whistles in this house, not only the White House, so they can live with all the facilities they needed and for the rest of their life. And uh, <clears throat> if you see this house, this house provides all the uh, communication needs that they need and uh, all mobility access that they need. And uh, so we never have to modify the house again like we have been doing in the past. And then they have the houses in place that they can get anywhere in the city. So try to find a house next to a beach and a bus stop in Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> so, see how successful you're going to be. So, and thank you very much for that that gift. So, um, I want to again just to remind how this started. It's about three years ago. A simple conversation between myself and uh, Donna Ackerman in January. That assistant director, uh, Neighbor Works Housing, January 17, 2017. We were reviewing the housing stock. And I was bringing up, do you have something that we can use? We have a population that really in need of accessible housing that can facilitate deaf and hard of hearing population. That conversation resulted in this house today. And in, in the construction work and the funding work in three years time, you guys did that. That's a lightning speed, I believe, developing a house. So thank you again. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for um, to facilitating this wonderful facility for the five folks to live in the rest of their life. Thank you. This has just been a wonderful day. And again, I want to thank the mayor for his support of this project. Um, it's just so wonderful to be here with all of you today outside uh, celebrating something very, very positive, uh, this beautiful new home. So thank you all very much for your support of this project and for coming out today. Thank you all. One, three, one, two, three. Awesome. Yeah.